So the first question we got is what is in your kit? Ah, uh, yeah, the infamous kit question. Um, very much like you guys, I'm also a gearhead. Uh, and uh, I think uh, it's really important. It kind of does tie into the big topic of defining your look and trying to figure that out. Uh, but in my kit, I'm shooting on Blackmagic cameras, uh, Pocket 4Ks and a Pocket 6K. Uh, and recently decided to make the plunge into uh, adding a A7S III as my gimbal cam. So uh, basically, I have A cam, B cam, Pocket uh, 4Ks. And then um, my Pocket 6K is just for special uses, we'll get into that later, um, or a ceremony cam, and then uh, A7S III on the gimbal, um, and then I'm using Tamron lenses, there's a reason for that, it's just because they have IS, so we'll kind of talk about that later also with defining your look, it kind of, it's nice how this gear question really ties into that whole segment as well. Um, and then for the audio recording, uh, using the new Zoom F2s, which I absolutely love, um, I know that there's been a couple issues with people having like sound popping, so I'm a little bit hesitant to recommend them, I haven't had any issues with them, so I love them. And and then of course uh, the Mix Pre 6 Mark II uh, for like my uh, audio recorder that I'm using for like uh, soundboards and stuff like that. And then for lights, I'm pretty crazy. I bring a, um, an Aperture 300X and then I just also purchased their uh, 60X. Um, so yeah, so that's what's in my kit. Next question we want to ask you, Henry Martins, uh, is um, what's your most favorite wedding film that you shot recently? Uh, it's I, I'd say it's kind of hard to define like your like my favorite But the one that I'm kind of most proud of I guess you could say recently is this film that I put out from Columbia um, and uh, just my career is kind of shifting from doing these highlight films into doing multi-day um, kind of documentary filmmaking But this film is still falls into this shorter category and it's probably my favorite highlight that I've put together in a long time just because it's so like um, kind of a mishmash of all my styles into one. Everything that I love about weddings, I kind of put into this one film. The couple gave me like full creative license where when I was editing it, I didn't have to like, I didn't worry about anything. So it was really nice and it was very like creatively freeing to kind of put all these different um, homages into one film. And then the couple ended up just like loving it. So um, yeah, so it's this film from Columbia and uh, it was a multi-day event, but instead of doing a documentary style, we did short highlight film and it turned out really cool in my opinion. What stands out the most to me about the film is actually the opportunity to work with a couple like this where their main goal was to entertain their guest at every single step of like the wedding process. There wasn't a single part of the wedding that was really like just about them. They just wanted to entertain their guests. So from like the filming perspective, what I what excites me about is it gave me a lot of unique content from a wedding to include. So we have a rehearsal dinner, uh, a rehearsal uh, like night. It was kind of like a welcome party, really. We have like uh, Colombian ballet dancers. Um, we have three different performers, like a DJ, a violinist, uh, then like a, the, another group. You know, on the wedding day, we have um, a, 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 it's a, a surprise flash mob that's like they're dressed up, they're disguised as like waiters in like the reception, um, and they're opera singers. Uh, and like it was just like this amazing experience. They have a, a surprise uh, reggaeton, famous reggaeton artist from in, from Colombia who like who performed at their at their reception for like the second half of it just like layers on layers on layers and so like that's what I was trying to build in the film and it was so cool um, to just like be a part of that um, and and try to really just try to like show like how much these people care about like their guests experience where can people watch that if uh, if they want to see the whole film yeah they can watch it on our Instagram at uh, the brothers Martins we're gonna um, link to their Instagram in the description, so yeah. definitely check that out. Um, we're also gonna be linking to um, Henry's kit, so you can go check out his kit right on the, what is that? Website called kit.whatever. Kit.com, yeah, we'll, we'll put a link below to Henry's kit specifically, so if you wanna see what he's using to create his amazing films, um, that's where you can go. The I, final question in our three questions is, how do people get connected with you if they wanna know more about Henry Martins? Uh, yeah, I, I run a, a small website called ProLutz.com. Um, there's some LUTs on there for Sony shooters, uh, as well as like, um, I, one thing I recently started doing was doing film reviews for people. Uh, and I do one-on-one -on -one workshops with people. So that's a great place to do it. But of course, Instagram is also great. If you guys want to slide in my DMs and just talk about, you know, whatever, um, I'm pretty easily accessible and love to chat with people about the industry. Bad, uh, why you gonna try to get mad? Uh, everybody wanna keep up. Uh, don't you know I move too fast? Uh, I'm a zip, zip right past. Uh, drip, drip all on my sweat.